my talk going to the topic is dislocation mechanism based flow stress and the computation of crystal plasticity, especially for the macro and sub macro skills. My colleague is Zhan Li Liu, and also Chui Nan, also is a professor in Tsinghua University now, and uh, Feng Xian Liu, and uh, Lin Peng was my uh, doctor student. Now he, Feng Xian Liu is working at the Oxford University for the post doctors, and the Peng Lin, uh, Lin Peng is working at the United States, uh, Purdue University for post doctors. Okay. The story from the 1994, and uh, there are two copper wires make a person. So from the 12 macros to 170 macros, and the strength, the, the size effect can find that the, strong, the smaller is stronger. If pure tension, but there is no side effect. This side effect in the macro scale and from 10 macros to um, 1 millimeters. But the question is, if it is no, side if no strength side effect on the tension or compression and without strength gradient, if it, it is no side effect on the tension and the compression without strength gradient, if it has said effect, what a sample said it, it is. In 10 years later, 2004, there are some experiment, some experiment from the unit, from Unique. He make an experiment for the comparison for the micro pillars, for the bulk materials, for the 40, 20 micros, there is no side effect because no straight gradient. If you reduce the size from 10 micro to 5 micros, they can find the size effect, but there is no strength gradient, but it has size effect. Also, we can find the curve from the smaller is stronger, we can find the size effect. And this experiment, is we need to find the mechanism. What happened in the competition mechanism in the plastic Mechanical plasticities. And another combination uh, for the micro pillars, we can find the deformation, deformation side effect. For the pillars, from 30 micros to 1 micros, you can find the same tree deformation until to the unsame tree deformation. The, if the sample size is reduced, you can find the different configuration of the deformation. It means you can find the deformation side effect. Smaller, you can find the unsymmetry. Another experiment from the temperature changed. If the, if the paler use the temperature increased, you can find the temperature uh, annealing situation. For annealing, you really can find from conventional uh, classical materials, if the annealing will be softened. But for the small paler, small samples, if annealing will be stronger. All, all of the Strengths, all of the stress and strain, and all of these new features, we can find this different mechanism for the, for the plasticities. For this work, we, did, we started in 2004, we started work for the dislocation and the dynamics. And we're also working for this create continuum model for crystal, crystal, uh, crystal plasticities. We, we, how can studies work? We think about the, the, the sample is a finite deformation. If a finite deformation, we need to think about the, use this location continue, with continuum models. This, this creates continuum models. We can think of use the DD, uh, dislocation dynamics models, and use the finite element. We can use the dislocation dynamics move. We can use the plastic strain increment of plastic strain going to the Gauss point of a finite element. And then from Gauss point of finement, you can uh, pass in the uh, deformation and also force, uh, stress, going to the DD locations, driving DD move. If, D, if the dislocation move, 
they can continue deformation of the continued plastic deformations. From this work, we, from DD deform deformation, they have two part superpositions. One part from DD himself, dislocation evaluation. The second part from finite deformation, from finite moment. They are superposed together. It's the new deformation of the di dislocation dynamics. And also, within the distributed DD, some, some part of DD segment passing a few element. We need to use the wet function, distributed strain, uh, use, uh, plus strain to different fine element. From this work, we set up discrete continuum models. It means DDD with fine element models for three dimensions. For the DD equations, we use the balance equation, we can develop the balance equation, and for DD, uh, DDD simulation models. And I also use the topology evaluation for the initial crystal, internal crystal, and also topology we can during the evaluated of the DD simulation in the models. And we also think that this is finite deformation. We need a plus twin finite deformation. We need a, for DP is the volume deformation right. And also we have the omega P is the uh, defo uh, rotation deformation right. From this work, we said if we put it into the model, we can link between discrete and the continued. <coughs> for the lattice rotation, we give, some, uh, we give some examples for the lattice. For these examples, only two, model, two materials, only one slide. Slide one breaks vectors. Breaks vectors are very small, only 0 0.25 nanometers. We can use this DD mode, this, uh, this, uh, our models to simulate this uh, moving for the one breaks vectors. If, oh, we also can simulate this uh, experiment date. If the pin point sweeping one cycles, you can do one burst vectors. If you sweep the 1,000 times, you can have the 1,000 burst vectors. It means from the nano, nano scale, uh, nanometers to micros. From this work, we can start it, uh, our Simulation work to the experiment date. The first, we, we set up the flow stress series. Flow stress series dominated by the single arm dislocations at sub micro scales. This scale is very small scales. For the, this work, we started thinking about how to compress on new make pillars. We put the initial configuration of the dislocation densities in the pillars. And then we move comparison for the pillar because the surface is free and the most dislocation can escape from the free surface. We mean starvation. We can, see, we can see the curve. This dislocation density curve will be reduced during comparison, means most dislocations move from free boundaries, free surface. If they can move, the, we can simulate and evaluate it. The dislocation in the pillars, nucleation, evaluation, and starvation. The first, we have two models for the FR models. FR soils, it means two pinpoint evaluated in the, in the samples. But they also curve with expansion, but never broken. But for the small size, for the single arm dislocation soils, because this, uh, this pin point, this curve of this location curve, very close to the free boundary. If very, if curve free boundaries, free surface, they will be broken for the FR soils broken, change to the single arm dislocations soils. We call SAS soils. This is very important started our simulation work because we simulate only at sub micro scales. For example, if we, assume we use SAS, means single arm dislocation size dominated work, we, have, we can find the curve. The first curve is the black curve, black solid line is the string and string curve. 
And they are, during the comparison, they are increased and stable curves. And the blue line is the digital density curve. When they increase, the digital density will be reduced. So we can see most, some digital cases will escape from free boundaries. So we have less digital density in the pillars. Next, we comparison the, we have calculated different uh, size of pillars, diameter from 200 nanometers until 800 meters. We can see the string, string curve, Swiss and string curve for the thin lines and the thin lines is the digital density curves. This can comparison with the experiment. This, this experiment result only can find the curve of the strings and the string. They couldn't find the digital density curves from experiment. From this work, we find the strain burst. If the small size, you can see the nucleation and the starvation. We can find the strain burst. This is not strain hardening, and the we find the very stable decreased strain uh, digital densities. <coughs> and then, we give the one example, we have the Diameter 200 nanometers. We can find the string string curve, and also we can find the uh, digital density curve for the blue solid. The, the alpha bit, the comparison uh, corresponding to the different configuration for the dislocation evaluated in the pillars. This work is the is example. From this example, we can find how can get the theoretical result. How can get the theoretical work? The, the condition for the absence string hardening, we have for each for each slip plans, they have two or three pin point in the each slip plans. And from different slip plans, we have different colors. We can find the weak for the this pin point SAS is very weak these interactions and very independent, independent evaluated in the slip plans. And also we can say the effect of stable flow stress. The flow, the, the, uh, the, the flow stress is proportional to the, how, from our result is the, such as the zero, uh, minus 0 0.85. <coughs> and the power of, D, D is the diameter of the of the pillars of the pillars. This 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 value is the very is in the date of the experiment from minus zero six six one to minus zero ninety seven. Our result is in within these values. It's, this can be um, validated by the experiment. Now, and then we can continue to think about how can get the some dislocation pinpoint couldn't escape from free surface. They will st stay inside. What said from the inside uh, dislocation pinpoint? How f what distance between pinpoint to the free surface? They couldn't escape by the short range force. From our calculation result, usually is 150 nanometers. Is this is the distance between pinpoint to free surface on the three plans. We call lambda s. Lambda s we call the stable soil lens. So corresponding to the different pillar diameters from 200 to 1,000, we have different values. Lambda is our D. D is diameter of a pillar, a pillar and the lambda is stable. So as length, we, we have the result. Lam, lambda is over D is 0 0.731. 0 0.31, we call the row stable. This row stable is very important from our simula uh, theoretical result. This is the average lambda over D. Lambda, lambda is over D. It's the cost for different uh, sample size. From this work, we can think how can develop the theoretical analysis for the 
we think about uh, use the increment of the digital densities, our increment of plastic string, series strings. And this value from the bulk materials, they have two terms on the right side. And for the surface annihilation, they have one term. And the general right by SS, only one term. So we can use these four terms, put the right side of this equation, and which term, four terms, which one is dominated for the for at some level skills. And for the bulk materials, we are, our model is not bulk materials. Our model is very small, small size samples. So the surface annihilation, the second term, and the first term is SIS uh, generation rate of S, uh, slip, uh, we call the SIS. These two terms, these two terms, these two equations, is dominated for the digital density over the plastic strain, uh, plus strains. And if we get stable values, in a, like uh, this equation should be equal to zero. From this equation zero, we have the analytical result. From an analytical result, it's the blue solid line, it's an analytical result. And then for the black dot, it's the uh, dislocation uh, dynamic simulations. From this work, we can continue for the... We published papers 2014. And the year after, some people have to publish papers. I think Ray is in, the, in this room, and Cai Wei, and uh, Nix, and Gao, Hua Jian Gao also published work. Well, this is our DD result. They mentioned that. Chui reported that the critical soil is large, calculated from DD is linear proportional to the sample diameters. Using their DD result, they get the same trade as this finger. From this work, we can think about how many uh, pinpoint in the, on the slip plans, on the each slip plans. We use the stable digital densities, and we use the statistic models. We can evaluate how many pinpoint on the each slip plans. On the each slip plans, there are a few pinpoint. Like we use the read point for the. This means the pinpoint. They couldn't escape from the free surface. From this work, we use the predicted stable dislocation density based on the statistical models. Usually, it's the, the number of pinpoint is two or three. <coughs> from from this work, and we continue to think about how to develop the flow stress. For flow stress, we can have three terms, right side, on the right side, three terms. The first is the flow, stre uh, flow stress is the micro scales, macro scales. And the second is the straight gradient plasticities. And the third term is by the dislocation, uh, discrete dislocation dense dynamics. This third term is the, our result. We put this equation, have three terms. We can compare it with the experimental date from the DDD simulation result. Also, analytical prediction, we have almost the agri wheel with the experimental date. Here, is the lambda is 0.31D, D is the diameter of the uh, pillars, and mu is the shear modules and the B is Brooks vector. So all of these very simple equations can simulate the very complex works. From this work, we can, we can use the dislocation mechanism corresponding to the sample size. For our work, we have the, based on the SAS mechanism, this is used for these equations for the 200 nanometers, 10 micros, on the sub micro scales. For the large scales, we use a Taylor magnetism. For forest dislocations, it's the, first, it's the second term. But the first, first term is the micro scales. So from this work, for, for the conservation estimation, the shootable range 
for our models, it's for, it's for 200 nanometer and one, uh, 10 microns. This is used for our theoretical work can, uh, suitable for this uh, sample size. Next, we also think about how many, it's, uh, also think about how this flow stress, crossing skills. The, the skills, this conventional plastic theory at the micro skills for the flow stress. The second part, three grade in the plasticity theory at the micro skills, usually from one millimeter to 10 micros, based on the Taylor laws. And the third one, developed by ourselves, is use the discrete dislocation mechanism, flow stress, plastic series, at some micro scales, 10 micro to 200 nanometers. This part of work is contributed to flow stress is larger than 80% by our models. From the, also from this side, less than 20% by thread gradient mechanisms. So the SAS, means single arm dislocation size is dominated from this side. <coughs> and also we can get the lambda, our D is 0 0.31, is the, from our simulation work. Next we're talking about the analytical, analytic, analytical model and the deformation side effect. For deformation side effect, deformation side effect, we can see the experiment from 30 microns to 1 microns, we can see the, the, same, the, the, the same tree def deformation, unsame tree deformation, when the side reduced from, unsame, from, from same tree to unsame tree. This, for, this also can, we can see the from, for same tree is the form of double sleep. For unsame tree, only single sleep. This means this from, from this, this uh, across this size, we can see the deformation side effect. For deformation side effect, we also developed a theoretical model linked to the problem microscope and the microscope. We use the balance equation or crystal plasticity deformation equations. We put the user element models to the app because we calculated the uh, finite deformation, uh, uh, de finite deformation, use the link the, our theoretical work with the finite element. From this work, we have a comparison with the thread gradient theory. Uh, Frank Hutchinson has a uh, CS series, and also Hua Diangao and uh, Yunggang Huang and Nix has an MSG series. They also work from the 10 microns to 1 millimeters, this thread gradient plasticities. But our work is considered strain discrete dislocation densities. <coughs> Next, we compare to this result. We put uh, this. Uh, that line is the sub micro scale and the micro scale. From our work, we can give the theoretical work from this solid red line is our result. And also, the, some people work is the blue uh, green line is some people publish the work. We have also from micro and the sub micro, we use the same similar, similar work. We can put the third term from the flow stress equations. This is from the theoretical work and the also compared, uh, uh, implemented into the finite element. We also care about the deformation side effect. For the, from this work, we can, send, we can see the, the, side, the diameter from five microns until bulk materials. For the, this, as the side reduced, we can see the strain burst is more remarkable. And also for the side reduced, we can see and the flow stress has increased dramatically, overversely. We can see the side effect for strain side effect, strain side effect, also strain burst for the small pillars, for the small curve, and strain strain curves. Next, the comparison the deformation side effect. For the pillars, same tree deform, uh, deformation, 30 microns, they have two slip plans. They have same tree deformation. We can simulate the two slip lines and the same tree deformation for 30 micro diameters. And for di one diameter, the right one is one diameter, one micros. One micros, only one slip lines. We can see the on same tree deformations. This is from theoretical result by, our, by us and also this from experiment. So 
the pillars diameter larger than 10 micros tend to the deformation with double slip and symmetry deformations. And the pillars from 10 micro the, uh, uh, to 200 nanometers deform with single slip and from third band, since the second slip system operation is restricted, they have not enough energy to drive second uh, slip lines deformation. So this is deformation side effect from and ne next, we can confine the plasticity in coating the pillars at micro scales. Coating pillar, it means the pillar lost free surface, like uh, something like uh, polycrystals, have the green boundaries. But we think of, we use the one sample is the is a coatings. And this coating pillars is if pillar has coatings, it means we our model is a sample. This in penetration for these locations. And um, these locations will be in positive region and uh, are near the, near, the, near the boundaries. It's, it, it's most of these locations will be trapped this location near the boundaries. And the rest of the part of the pillar uh, material, the rest of the part of samples, this location can be captured in most region of the pillars. Of the pillars. So this is Rob, uh, Rub, rub safe region, we can see the most diso some dislocations are, uh, trapped near the, near the surface, near the green boundaries. And also, we can uh, attractive the, the dislocations and the, at the rest of the part of the samples. Uh, samples. This, this will interface and some dislocation interactions. We are thinking about, not, uh, thinking about how to use the Comparison coating and uncoating. For the coating, this, this thin lines, solid lines coating. For the coatings, the linear strength hardening, weak side effect, and a high flow stress, small strength burst for the coatings. Uncoating pillars, this dotted line is uncoating pillars, no strength hardening, strong side effect, and a large strength burst. And these coating pillars, this location evaluated couldn't escape from free boundaries. And for the uncoating, there are free boundaries. This location density will be reduced during the evaluated. Also, from this location density evaluation, we can uncoating is the black dot, is uncoating. For coatings, there are two mechanisms. One is trapped dislocations, and another mobile dislocations. Put this dislocation together, it's a red dot, it's total dislocations. This is from an engineer's plus string and an engineer's uh, dislocation uh, curve. And another one is diameter corresponding to the density increment of dislocations over this uh, increment of plastic strings. We can see the the strain side effect, smaller is stronger. <coughs> also, this, this density will be reduced during the uh, diameter change. From this work, we can continue to think about how to give the uh, theoretical, theoretical equations. The uncounting case, we have theoretical equations. For the third term, we put it in the flow stress. For the counting case, the flow stress have the one term increased. This term is the backstress. The backstress is completed. So we need to check the uncoating. We have the yield point. And for the backstress, we can also kind of coating pillars. We also have the yield stress. We have uncoating, coating. We have different yield stress. We can put the KS equal one and the KS equal two for corresponding different yield stress. And the for the <coughs> next, we move the, for the back trees, it's proportional to the number of pinpoint. And the mu is the serial uh, modules, B is Brooks vector, our D, D is the diameter of the pillars. And we use the linker curve, calculated to get the re, uh, this result. This, uh, this one density, trapped this one densities. And the top, P is the shear, shear, uh, shear force, so shear stress. We create this curve, and uh, we link this, we can, we can get the 
the tangent of this word, alpha equal 0 0.7. For alpha equal 7 is independent of the size. Also, uh, Ks equal 2 is also independent of the size. We put this Ks at the alpha point. Alpha dot, it put the last term is tau b. We call it back stress because you have the, you have the crystal, um, crystal boundaries. You have the back stress means you more dislocated is trapped near the boundaries. This work is very difficult to give the explicit equations for the back stress. So we get the, the lower bound and the upper bound. For lower bound means assume SAS never ruptured, continue plastic flows. It's never ruptured. They have plus flow is lower bound. If the upper bound means the SAS failed once, only and this only failed once uh, with sleep sleep plan for one time. This is upper bound. So we use the upper bound and the lower bound, we can calculate the, this result. From this uh, or lower bound uh, and the uh, upper bound, we have the we have two curves. One curve is the upper bound, a second curve is the lower bound. We put all the experiment data in between lower bound and the upper bound. We couldn't give the exactly explicit so, uh, uh, equation for the back trace. Next, we have the, going to the high temperature annealing hardening in megapillars. This work is the Experiment by the NICS in 2009, they pub half the published the papers. And then, then NICS, Professor Nix came to Tsinghua University and asked us to use the theoretical work and the simulation work to, fit, to try to collaborate the, the experiment date. The black curve is the normal strain strength, and the blue curve. It's the 35% pre strength And the red curve is the temperature equal to 260 degrees and the seven meters in air. And the, uh, and the comparison, the curve will be increased. Temperature, increase, temperature increased and the strength, yield strength also increased. This is an untypical result. See? And uh, from this work, we use the climb and the glide, uh, uh, gliding and climb two magnetisms because the temperature increased. Almost theoretical thermal dislocation, usually climb dislocation dominated. From this work, we have some challenges. The first challenge is that need higher uh, activity energy to move dislocation move. And the second challenge is the diffusion dominated. The third is the collaborate. Collaborate is very slow compared to the Glide right, almost seven orders between two velocities. This challenge for us, we developed our numerical work. For numerical work, we use the work and say diffusion equations. C is the work and say concentration, and G is the work and say flux. From this equation, we think of how to use the equation can link from discrete dislocation to the finite deformation. From this work, we also seen, use the develop new models. This model, we use the DDD uh, new, uh, dislocation dynamics, also connected with the finite element. We put the, we put the uh, work and uh, concentration to the knot of the finite element. And then we calculate the work and say flux, go back to the DDD simulation, continue to drive, work and say evaluated. From this, uh, uh, this work, use the continuum, uh, computed, computed mechanics with the finite element together. So we have to calculate this work. Since time limited, I give the idea is that we use the climb velocity, we use the theoretical work. And the glider velocity, we use the DDD simulation work. When the, in the it started delta t from 90 seconds, and climb plus glide. When the accumulated climb distance is larger than two slip lines, 
It is a short faucet in slip equation quantities. We put two, this one should be waiting for the uh, clamp plan, waiting for the dislocation density, uh, uh, glide velocity is very fast, and then we use the climb, and uh, this time scales is different. And we can find, also we can find that dislocation annihilation, also climb induced jogs. This also work from the simulation work, and uh, we can compare the result from the experiment. And the experiment work is the, uh, if we only consider the glide, but you couldn't compare with the experiment, read the, car, read the, read the curve, it's, with the dot, it's the experiment. But uh, you consider the glide with the climb and the nucleation, you can compare with the experiment. It means the climb motion plays a leading role in annealing hardening. This is important for the annealing hardening. You need to consider the climb is important and dominated. This is moving. In the summary I have give the our from our talk, the first, we give the equation on the third term for the flow stress. And a very simple questions for the complex work, complex configurations. And the second we develop the the, from this, this great dislocation dynamics to the fine element. So from this work, we can give the finite deformation dislocation mechanisms. And the third, we have developed the same, uh, same two deformation and same two deformation we can find from the sub-micro scales. And until the micro scales, we can find the, the deformation side effect, not only strength side effect. Last, space, last slide, we have the, also for the uh, thermal, thermal uh, effect, for the annealing effect, is uh, for the small sample size, if annealing temperature increased, but uh, the string, uh, yield stress has also increased. This is an untypical mechanism for the plastic mechanics. Okay. Uh, thank you for your attention. And, uh, okay, thank you.